Good morning, everyone. This is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle called Spider by EPH. When I opened this puzzle and saw it in my queue, I swore I'd done this puzzle before, and I have checked every record I've got, and I cannot find it, but I swear I had done this puzzle before. So if you've seen this puzzle before, I, great. If you can find a reference to this in on the channel or anything, but I swear this is so familiar. But um, anyway, uh, apparently not. I cannot find any reference to having done this puzzle before, but maybe I solved it recreationally. I do do that sometimes. I don't know. Anyway, so... Um, I don't think there's anything I want to call out. Let's have a look at the puzzle. So, um, Spider by EPH. So we have standard or normal Sudoku rules apply. So in each box, in each row, and in each column, the digits one to nine need to be placed without repetition. The spider's body, so the thick orange line, um, is a Dutch whisper line, and adjacent digits on the line must sum to uh, must differ by at least four. Sum to no, they must have a difference of at least four. The spider's legs are arrows, and digits on the arrow um, on the thin line must sum to the digit placed in the circular joint. And the flies, the black dots, um, uh, separate cells whose digits are in a one to two ratio, or one is double the other. Um, they're the rules. Um, I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So, Dutch whisper line. Now, digits must be difference by at least four. So, five can only go next to one or nine, and apart from that, the digits must either exist below five or above five. Now, five must go on the line, I think, in this puzzle, because I think that has to be a one, because these are all arrows, and they're all two-cell arrows. So none of these could sum to one. So we have to put a one in the middle of the grid. Now, one of these has to be a two. Now, that could be a two. That could be a two. That could be a two. So those are the only possible digits that could be two. And two, hang on, so five, but five has to go at the end of a line because the, oh no, five, five, if five is in the middle of a line, right, so these are the only digits that can be two because I could go one, 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 one. Because if I put a two here, the minimum I could make these sum, this sum two is like two and th if this is, yeah, I, the minimum I could make this sum two is two and three. Same here. The minimum this could sum two is one and two. So this would have to be three. These are the only ones that could be twos. Now, but five, if it was in the middle of a line, could only go next to one and nine. They are the only digits that are four apart. So I can't put five in any of those because none of these can be, because one is not on the line. So five is in one of those two. And five must go next to nine. If this is five, nine, then we must alternate high, low. So to go five, nine, low, high, low, high, low, high. And if it's five here, this would be nine low, high, five, nine, low, high, low, high, low, and one of those two would be two. If it's five here, it'd be low, high, low, five, nine, low, high, low, high, low, high. I don't think that can ever be two. Because for this, if this is the five, it's not two. And if this is five, we go low, high, low, high, low, high, low. Oh, no, hang on. That's not right. No, sorry. Five, nine, low, high, low, high, low, high. This is never the two. So nine is in one of these two. So one of those two is a one. I know that. But five is in one of those two. So nine is in one of those two. So high is in one of those two. Low, high. How do I figure that out? How do I figure that out? If this is five, this is two, three. If this is five, this has options. How do I figure that out? So this is always going to alternate along the line. This is going to be alternating polarity 
along those cells. And one of those is going to be five. And the other one is going to be... Oh, hang on. This is low, though. The other one is going to be high. These are five and high. Because I've got three low digits taken up. But two is in one of those two. So green is low. Because these must be different. So this is the five. This is the nine. So purple is high. Green is low. This is... This is not the nine. This is not the five. Who is in one of these two? These are two, three, and four. There's no two there. This is a high digit. So these are six, seven, and eight. Okay. Now, can I get those further? Okay. Can I get those further? Six can only go next to one and two. So this is the six, because three and four are too close. So these are not the six. This is, no, sorry, wrong way around. These are not the six. This is the six. This is the two. These are both ones. There's no two here. Seven is too close to four. Seven is only three away from four, and one of those is a four. So that's the eight, that's the seven. Seven is too close to four, that's the three, that's the four. There's that filled out. Now the three is a one, two, and I can't put one there. So that's the two, that's the one. Four is one, three, and that's the three, and that's the one. Six. Well, there's a one down here now. So this black dot can't be one, two, can't be two, four. If it's three, six, it's three, six. And if it's four, eight, it's four. I'm not sure the order. And the reason I'm putting those in is on a black dot, you must have a low digit and an even digit because one doubles to two, two doubles to four, three doubles to six, four doubles to eight. And you have to stop there because five would double to 10. So you can never put any, they're the only options you can work with. So this can't be one, six. Two, five, or three, four are the other possibilities. So it's either two, five, or three, four. I'm not sure. Well, this is two, four, because it can't be one, five, and one, five, two, four is the only possibility. The next option you have is three, three, which doesn't work. So if this is two, four, that restricts this, because this could be, can't be one, four anymore. Maybe, because that can't be one or four. So if this cell can't be one or four, this can't be a one, four, and this is a two, three pair. And that can't be a two. That's a three, that's a two. So that's a four, that's a two. That's nifty. And two is in one of those two. So this can't be one, two, or two, four. This is either three, six, because I can't put three there, or four, eight, because I can't put four there. And this must have a four on it. There is a four on this because I can't use one, two, and I can't use three, six. So this is either two, four, or four, eight. So it's either two, four, or four, eight. Sorry, eight. And it must contain a four. So that's a four because I can't put four in any of those cells. That's a four. Which means that's not a four. So that's not an eight. This is a weird little puzzle. I like it though. So this can't be one seven. It can't be two six. So it is three five. And we know what these are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. Oh, the three makes that the five and that the three, which looks now making that the eight and that the four. Which means that's not four, so that's not three. Okay. This can't be one, two, or two, four. So this is again three, six, or four, eight, giving me a four, six pair and a three, eight pair in the column. I 
keep looking at this nine arrow. It can't be one eight or two seven. So this is either, th oh, and it can't be four five. Can't be one eight, can't be two seven, can be three six, but it can't be four five because that would break that cell. So this is three six. That's cool. So this is two, this is five. That means that's not the two and this is the two. So this, mm, antibiotic taste in my mouth. So this three, six means this can't be three, six. So this is eight, four, which means this is not the four. This is the four. The eight, of course, makes that the two. Uh, the eight looks down, making that the three. So that becomes the six. There's no one in either of those two. That becomes the one. And now we're basically just down to some Sudoku. But that was a really nice opening. Nice little coffee break puzzle. I have no problem with nice little coffee break puzzles. One is in one of those two. Two is in one of those two. Four is in one of those two. Five is in one of those three. Is that looking like that? Can't be one, two... Three, four, five, six. So that's seven or nine. This is a pair. Oh, the two looks up saying that's not a two. So that is the two. That is the one. This one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four and eight go into those. Oh, that three makes that six and that three. So that's a three in the corner. Prepare for the people bombarding me saying I am stealing something trademarked. Three goes into one of those two. Three can't be in any of those. So that's a three. So that's not the three. That's the three. Four is right there by Sudoku. Four is in one of those two, but I'm not sure which yet. This is a quadruple. Five, seven, eight, nine. So where's eight? Eight's not in any of those. That's eight. So this is five, seven, and nine. There's no five there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine go into those. Okay. Looking in the wrong place. I'm digging in the wrong place. One, two, three, four, five, seven, nine go into those. There's no seven there. I've got all the threes. That, however, has to be a two. One is there, which means one is there. Fours? No, I'm down to an X-wing on fours. Five is in one of those two. Five doesn't look particularly fruitful. Ah, this is a four-eight pair because of the fours and the eights and the four eight there. This is a four eight pair. That is going to be quite restrictive. So this is six, seven, nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a five, which has done almost nothing. But this is six, seven, nine. Yeah, for the right. Oh, no, there's no six here. That is not six, seven, nine. I always do that. I keep forgetting to scan. So one, two, three, four, five, six, five. These are five, seven, nine. And there's no five there. So the seven, nine pair makes that the five. Five, of course, is in one of those. So this is six, seven, nine. Hmm. Eight is in one of those two for the column. So that's an eight. And this, these are six, seven, nine. There's six, seven, nines everywhere. 
So it's five, six, seven, and nine everywhere, and I'm not breaking it open yet. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's an eight in one of those two. Except in this box, that's the eight. That's not the eight. That's the eight. And now I'm basically just down to five, six, seven, nine everywhere. So this is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine into those, which gives me a six, seven, nine triple. So that becomes a five. There's no five there. This is six, seven, nine. So this is six, nine. Five is in one of those two. This is five, six, nine. Five is in one of those two. Okay. Simple scanning trick I have missed again. Surely this four, this is a four eight as well, isn't it? And that, no, the eight makes that the four, which makes that the eight, which makes that the four. Okay. So what's this triple? One, two, three, four, five, six. These are seven, eight, and nine. So that's the eight. This is a seven, nine. The seven, nine looks back making that the six, taking six out of those. There you go. That's going to do something. This is the six, taking six out of there, making that the six, taking six out of there, making that the six. This is now a five, nine pair, making that the seven and that the six. Take seven out of there and there. That makes that the nine, which makes that the seven, which makes that the nine, which makes that the seven, which makes that the nine. This is the seven, nine, and seven, and this is just using leftovers in boxes, making that nine, which makes that seven, which makes that nine. I'm just literally resolving pairs. Making this six, there's no nine here. This is a five, seven pair, and the seven looks up, making that the five and that the seven. The five looks down, making that the nine, which makes that the seven, which makes that the five, which looks up, making that the nine and that the five. And I'm sorry. Um, yeah, that was a beautiful little coffee break puzzle. And of course, it was the four eight, the, the four eights that did it once I realized that wasn't four eight pairs. Really nice. Love the break in on the Dutch Whisper wine. And then the Sudoku at the end with the five, six, seven, nine was actually really, really cool. Once you, I realized that I was at, should have played with four eights first. Great. Thank you, EPH. Really, really nice. Um, and of course, now I, as an arachnophobe, people who live in Australia, as, as someone who lives in Australia, I feel very, very justified being scared of spiders. Um, as, um, as an arachnophobe, now I've got to figure out how to put do a spider thumbnail again. Yay! Um, yeah, thank you. And yeah, as always, I suppose, good luck with your solving.